Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy and today I'm going to show you how to pack and save over $2,000 in a month in baggage fees. Now I travel quite a bit. I'm in a first class lounge right now in Ecuador and I'm waiting for my flight to the Galapagos Island. And this month alone I've taken several trips and I've saved over $2,000 on checked baggage. I don't check baggage in, but some trips like this one I need some extra gear. So I developed some strategies and I want to share them with you. The reason why you want to try to save on these fees, not only is it great to save two grand, but the more you save, the more you're able to travel. And think about it, when you go on trips, do, a, do an analysis and go home. Look at your stuff in your bag. A lot of the stuff that you end up taking with you to other continents or countries, you don't even end up using. So you just take it along for the ride and you bring it back. Oftentimes you don't even realize until you get back, you think, wow, I really could have, you know, went without this and that and all that sort of stuff. So that's the first step. It's just think about what you took in your last trip and kind of, you know, get rid of the stuff you really don't need. Okay, so let me show you here how I get started. First off, I have a hat here and I'll show you how I look from a side view. Um, I have this large sun hat, that way I don't have to buy a sunblock and I don't have to carry the cans because you can't take liquids or anything over 3.4 ounces on planes, okay? And what I do is I'm concealing a bag here. See that? I have another bag. So I just look like an average, you know, Westerner It's overweight when I have my hat here. It kind of blends in. So I don't look irregular. A lot of planes, companies will allow you one bag or a bag and one carry-on a personal item. So I go for one carry-on just in case, okay? So first step is a hat. This is what I use to cover myself and it also gives me cover my bag here, okay? Second thing is get yourself a good travel bag. You see this? This is one of these backpacker bags and take the metal bars out. They put these metal bars in them to give you our support, whatever for your back. You don't need that. You're not going to be carrying heavy stuff. And if you're going to carry stuff that's real heavy, Leave it in luggage, just check it in then. But otherwise, you take the metal barge out so it's flexible. See how this kind of floppy? That allows you to mold it and squeeze it into those container vents in case they need to make you show them that it fits in there. The other thing is, if you look at the bag, I have a lot of room to grow and I can actually expand, expand this to two and a half times. So I re reduced it down and it has straps all around it and I tied it so it looks really small like a rugged regular backpack, a small one. But again, if I had this full, easily I have it up here by my head. It would go up two and a half times. So that is my travel backpack. These are great because they're flexible, they don't tear, you can do a lot of stuff with them. Okay, now, then I have a windbreaker. I don't carry jackets unless I'm going to Iceland or something. Even still, I usually just use a, a windbreaker. These are cool because they don't take up a lot of space. And then you can just layer it. Just put two, three t-shirts. If it's really cold where you're going, then put a sweater on. And that'll be just, that'll be enough. And they're not gonna get dirty because you're not gonna be actually wearing them. not gonna be touching your skin. So I layer my clothes. And I purposely bought this one at the thrift store about two sizes larger so that I can fit a bag inside of it in case I need to, right? These are awesome because it has a lot of pockets here. I'll show you I have my cell phone here. And I have two pockets on both sides. So I can put stuff on the sides. And I also have this huge one in the front here where I'm not even using all the space I have. It has a half gallon here. I can put a pair of shoes in here and some articles of clothing if I needed to. That goes in here. All right, this is waterproof. I can use this also to protect my, my neck from the sun. I'm going somewhere sun, sunny or windy, and I put my sun hat on. So windbreakers are the way to go. Then I have my regular backpack. This one's padded, this is where I have all my electronics, I have my cameras, my tripod, my laptop, all that kind of stuff. And I put it up here in the front, so it just looks like it's my belly. See that? You can see now how I look without it. Now, if I was going somewhere that is cold, I would be wearing a sweater, but it's hot over here, so I'm wearing a muscle shirt. And then, the next step is your pants. Buy cargo pants. Cargo pants are the best. They have a lot of pockets. Again, I haven't even used everything. I have pockets in the back. I 
have three pockets on both sides. Your belt, get something that's light. I use these mesh military belts. These are great. Leather is not good. They tear, they get like floppy. It's not good. These last much longer, they're lighter. Then I have here my travel pouch here for my money, my passport, stuff like that. I have my passport here along my Galapagos Island uh, path. You have to pay 20 bucks just to go over there. Then when you land, you have to pay another hundred dollars, okay? Then I have my left pocket bag of my supplements. Here are all my supplements. I have my night and day routine here that I talk about in my supplement book. And then in my other lower pocket, I have my hardcore powder for my hardcore program. Okay, so I have my hardcore powder here. And you notice I have a lot of plastic bags. So don't waste your money on fancy stuff, fancy bags and everything. It gets stolen and it weighs more. So a lot of times they weigh your stuff also. You have to be conscious of weight. I went to South Africa once with an ex-girlfriend and a friend, and we were there for almost three months. They spent thousands of dollars of equipment, and everything got stolen like the first week we were there. We bought more stuff. We ended up being robbed like three times. So I learned my lesson. Don't invest a lot of stuff. You attract too much attention. So keep it light, keep it simple. This was a, a recycled, sandwich uh, bag for my favorite bread, Ezekiel bread. And inside of it, I have my hardcore powder inside these sandwich bags. And I just reuse these. I've been using these for about three years. If they start getting nasty, I just wash them. Just keep using it over and over and over so you don't make a lot of trash. Anyway, this goes in my other pocket, okay? Then I got my right pocket. I have another plastic bag, and here I keep some snacks. In case I get hungry. If I'm going to drop food, it's expensive. I got protein bars here. And they're dense and they're very filling. So I have snacks over here. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you underneath my pants, I have more pants. So I layer my clothes. Again, if I have a lot of clothes, if I'm going somewhere clo uh, cold, I'll put on multiple layers of clothing so I don't have it in my luggage. In this case, I have my cargo shorts underneath my pants here. And, I have another five pockets, actually seven. I have two in the back, and then I have some on the side. And inside here, I keep my wallet. In case I get robbed, I take my fanny pack, I have another layer over here, I have cash here. I also keep IDs, cash, credit cards, and my bags. So I have stuff in different places in case I get robbed. I haven't been robbed, but you never know. People have tried. I have my sunglasses down here because I want to get scratched. But we have my left pocket, I have my electronics. My iPhone charger, iPhone charging cord, and I, iPhone earbuds. And the idea here is to use as many of these pockets as you can so you don't look too exaggerated, you don't look too puffy. And one more thing I forgot to show you is my plastic bottle. I also bring a bottle, so I don't have to be buying bottles and making waves. I recommend not getting a metal bottle. Too heavy, costs too much attention. This is palm size, maybe a little bigger. It's not too big. It's lightweight. And just get a good quality bottle, like an algae bottle, so you don't get chemicals in your water. And I can just refill this wherever I'm at. And if I want, it has something, a loop here, where I can put it on my belt while I'm hiking or something like that. That's basically how I travel. And in this particular case, I'm at a, at a first class lounge, I spent the night here, and I, they have a sleeping room here. So all the money I save in baggage, I paid for first class lounges. In particular, you can get an American Express Platinum card, and it allows you to go to first class lounges all over the world. I use it constantly. I've used it about 12 times this month already. So I sleep there, I eat there, I shower, I do everything. I get long layovers, and I love it, because I go get an office, or conference room and just chill out. So I hope that helps. And from Ecuador, this is Dr. Nesto. Thank you. Goodbye.